Well, hello there, everybody. It is time for some red deer grinding. Time for some red deer grinding. You guys saw today's video. It, uh, we're, we're getting pretty far into this grind now. We're actually getting to a pretty good point. We're able to kill the red deer really quickly. And, uh, I'm not getting diamonds as quick as I was on our Tiabaroa grind back like a year ago or however long it's been since we did that. However, we are managing to average with our current, uh, current HM. We're getting a diamond like every 25-ish kills, which isn't bad. It's about in line with what our whitetail grind is and a little bit better than what our moose grind is and about the same as our bear grind too. So it's in a decent state. I think what I'm going to end up doing is we're going to grind with this current uh, level of HM until we get a great one. And then once we get a great one, we'll m potentially stack up a bunch of diamonds again and then try to shoot down some more of the solos. But the solos were just giving me so much trouble that I decided to just deal with what we've got going right now because the solos were so terrible, like so, so terrible. I would kill maybe 10 red deer an hour when I was chasing solos because they just move all the time. They're incredibly inconsistent with like where they end up. So yeah, I just decided to see if the HM was far enough along and it's in a decent state. It's in a decent state. Uh, Jackson, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Got the AR pack today and the 10 millimeter. Nice, dude. That's awesome. That is super awesome, man. Hey, Jim, how's it going? Thank you, Phantom. Hey, Bentley. Oh, it has, Merle. Feels bad, man. It happens. It happens, man. What? Whoa. Hold up. Um, we got new fours here. I had, uh, um, okay, we have two new fours here. I'm tempted to leave these. I don't really like this zone that much anyway. I, I might leave those. I might leave those and uh, start grinding a different zone a little bit. That's wild. Two new fours show up in that zone in one run. I might leave them. I think I might leave them. We'll see. We'll kind of see how things go. But uh, for now, at least we'll leave them there. That's only one of the herds there. Hey, Gavin, hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing pretty good, man. Other herds being a little stubborn, it looks like. So I did a little bit of a measurement of how many kills I'm getting per hour right now on this grind. Right now, it's about 75 an hour. 75 an hour provided, of course, all the uh, red deer are behaving and cooperating. Which isn't too bad. Like, 75 an hour is solid. I could make it higher, probably, if I reintroduced a couple of zones that I'm not using anymore. But I'd have to, obviously, like, shoot the fours and stuff out of them. So, probably not going to do that. But definitely uh, got some good numbers throwing up at the moment. Nothing there. That's a five. I've been leaving that five. But to be honest, now that we have a couple fours popping up, I'll probably kill this five so we get another in the rotation. That would make sense, you know? Leave, uh, leave one of the fours that showed up. Kill the five that I've been leaving here. They need to make a Midwest map. I mean, I think I'm kind of tired of seeing NA maps. We've got so many of them. At this point, I don't think they could do anything like very unique 
if they do another NA map. Or at least if it's a United States map, I should specify. There's other parts of North America that would be amazing. But uh, I don't think they could make a United States map interesting anymore. We've already got like all the species that are popular, really. Or at least the majority of them. Yeah, that Mellow Red Deer was crazy, man. I'm so blown away that I got it. I, I just can't believe that during the 20,000 kills we got on Tiabaroa for Red Deer, I only saw two Mellows, a level 5 and a level 7, and then I've already got two of them on this grind. Dude, another four! What the? All these fours showing up. Oh, gonna have to kill this one. Don't want him in this zone. This zone has been too good to me to leave a four here. We got our crazy Mela here. I've had a lot of diamonds show up here. Can't let this zone uh, disappear from us. Hey, Fish Forever, how's it going, man? Now this zone down here. By the way, guys, we're at 1,145 kills. I ended up shooting all of those stacked diamonds at around like 836, I believe. So we are approximately just a little bit over 300 kills into this grind. Or not into this grind, but approximately 300 kills since I killed all the stacked diamonds. What the? You just spawn in front of us, bro? That was interesting. That was really interesting. Alright, well, I guess I'm not going to get a shot on the other one. Good enough, though. We got one of them. Where are the red deer on this map? They are all over. Like, pretty much every single lake aside from, like, two of them. And the coast. Like, the coast is really the only spot where you can guarantee they're not going to be... They aren't along this coast. They're not in the top mangroves. They're at every single lake aside from this one and these like lower lakes like right here. And then I believe this one. They're not there. Overall though, they're pretty much everywhere. Yeah, I could see Texas, the Texas Game Ranch thing. That's the only thing I could see working as like a new North America or as a new uh, United States map just because they could do exotic stuff like aside from that though there's not really too much they could do with it I mean maybe if they did one that has like stone sheep and you know cool stuff like that maybe but they'd have to do unique species that's the thing for me at this point with Call of the Wild I don't want a map where it's just going to be a bunch of the same thing I want a map where we're going to get new species if they can do a North America map with a lot of new species and I'm down for it. Like I've said before, I'm down for any map provided it brings a lot of new and unique animals to the game. I think that's the big thing for me right now. I just want everything to be new and unique. No great ones today, uh, Legendary Buck. We pretty much just started. Hey, nice little mythical. Got him. California or Arizona map would be pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, California would be another blacktail map, but there's not a lot of other species that could be there. I mean, they could do like the Thule Elk or is it the Thule Elk or the Tool Elk? I don't know how it's pronounced, but they could be there. But I, I'm trying to think of like what else could be unique about it. It'd be a second map for Blacktail, and we could have the tool the Thule Elk. But what else? What other uh, new species could we get? Nice uh, snip. That's awesome, dude. Congrats on your great one, man. Congrats. What level of fallow deer should I kill for a grind? I kill like the big twos and above and then leave small threes and below. That's only if you're doing herd management though. If you're not doing herd management, just kill them all. 
There we go. I occasionally get a little straggler over in this zone now. I never used to, but all of a sudden, I get a little straggler every once in a while that is joining this herd in here. I don't really claim this one, though, because it's kind of a waste of time. More of just trying to get him out of that area. I'm so tempted to delete that zone and just see where the herd ends up. To see if I can get like a better, better spot to shoot them from. They're in kind of a rough area, man. Like, not an easy area. What is my favorite map? Favorite map would be good old Emerald Coast. And then I would say Revon Tuli's probably second with Tiabaroa third. Okay, so yeah, this has stayed a bunch of fours. Yeah, we're going to leave them. I think we're going to leave them. We can actually remove those tents if we keep them there. Because nothing else can go there. You never really see more than two stags in a herd. I can probably remove those tents and set it up somewhere else. And I think that probably is what I will do. Ooh, that's a weird mythical. That's a really weird mythical. Two down, beautiful. Finally got a diamond moose. Nice, ghost, that's awesome, dude. Feel like there could have been so much more with Emerald Coast. Like what? The only thing that's really missing in my eyes is, um, what are they called? The dingoes or whatever. The dingoes I would have liked to see, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. Ooh, that's a nice looking mythical. Ethic. Yeah, the feral camels could have been cool. That might have been tough to implement, though, because I don't think they've ever added anything that's even, like, close to resembling a camel. That would have been, like, a super new thing for them to try and add. Would have been really cool, though. It's just part of being a YouTuber, Newt. That's just part of being a YouTuber. I get it all the time. The things people have called me for using herd management is actually pretty insane. It's, uh, it's a pretty normal thing when you're a YouTuber. There we go. Hey, Walking Dead edits. How's it going, man? Yep, unfortunately drawn. It's just how it is. Like, the decisions you make as a content creator will affect, like, how other people see you. It'll also affect, like, what content creators want to associate with you. Like, there's definitely some people out there that don't want to associate with me just because I do herd management. Which, in my opinion, kind of unfortunate that people think that way. There we go. Drop it him. Hey, Glissette, I'm doing good. Doing good. What is my favorite great one in terms of the looks? I really, really like the moose. The moose is the most stunning great one in the game, in my opinion. It's so beautiful. So much variety. 
in the uh, the racks and stuff. Just phenomenal. Or uh, the fur types and the racks. Like, they're so good. Yeah, it's just unfortunate, uh, Schrader. Like, there's nothing we can do about it. People are going to have their opinions. I can tell you one thing, though. I'm never going to hate on somebody for playing differently than me. Because at the end of the day, it's not my decision. It's not up to me to determine what's okay and what isn't. Least favorite great one looks wise, probably the red deer to be honest. And that's just because there's not a lot of variety. Like all the red deer great ones look very similar. There's only one fur type. Uh, there's four different racks, but two of them are so similar to the others that you can't really tell the difference unless you know like the exact the exact things to look for. This herd every once in a while is a little bit weird. Oh, same dynamic. Like, I like the red deer a lot, but I, I they 100% need more variety. Like, there's just not enough uh, to them to make it, to make, like, multiple or getting multiple great one red deer feel the same as getting multiple great one moose. Like, getting multiple great one moose, it, it's super, super exciting and incredible because you never quite know what it's going to look like. And nine times out of ten... You're going to get something way different than what you got last time. With the red deer, it's like, okay, well, we got another great one red deer. Just like the other ones that we've got. And I mean, obviously, if you're a, if you're a hardcore grinder like myself, you strive to get all the different rack types. But then once you've got them all, they kind of lose their magic. Which is why I like the moose and the uh, the fallow so much, is because there's so many different combos that you can get. So much variety. It's also kind of why I like the whitetail a lot. The whitetail have so many so many different like weird angles those racks can be bent in. Truax really does wonders on the whitetail great one. Connor, thank you for the super sticker, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're having a phenomenal day. Oh, there we go. We got one here. There we go. So I think what I'm going to do is since we're leaving those fours at that one zone, I think I'm going to put a tent down at this one and then put a tent at that other one that we occasionally get a mail at. That way I can easily just quickly claim them because uh, it's not super efficient having to drive the AP ATV down there every single time. What is my favorite map? This one right here, man. Emerald Coast is my favorite map in the game. That's awesome to hear, Aiden. Glad the guides help. Little 170. Yeah, let's go grab these. We don't need those tents anymore. It honestly feels kind of good to get this zone managed down because this has been an inconsistent one. Inconsistent in the fact where, like, some runs it'll have no stags. Another run it'll have one. Another run it'll have two. So... Getting both of them to come back as a four is huge. That is super, super huge. So let's go ahead and pick all of this up. What is the best money grinding animal in Emerald? Probably the Rusa Deer, to be honest. The Rusa Deer gives so much money, especially for how easy they are to kill and how plentiful they are. Like, uh, Rusa Deer have a very small range. They're up, like, in this area. They are, I believe, eh, I think they're kind of, like, in that area. Then they're at that lake. They can be throughout, like, this stretch of the river over here, I think. And then they can be over here. And that's pretty much it. 
And they give so much money. It's like fourteen or fifteen hundred dollars for like an average size one, which is pretty crazy in comparison to some other species. Yeah, crocs are good, but I, I definitely think rusa are probably going to be twice as good just because you can kill so many of them so quick. Like, the crocs are good, too, but they're all solo, so they move around a lot. So they're they're not always going to be in the same places. If you're hunting for the Rusa, they're always going to be in the same places because they've got their drink zones, and they uh, aren't solo, so they're not going to move all the time. All right, so we got a bunch of big males here. No, crocs are all solo. They don't have herds. Just because they have, like, other crocs in the zone doesn't mean that it's, like, their group. Like, for example, all black bear are solos, even though sometimes you'll see multiple bears together. Uh, they're counted as, like, a solo if you pick up their drink zone. It's the same for the crocs. Crocs and gators are all solo, so if you kill one, it's not going to come back to the exact same spot. Like, its respawn will not be in the same area. It might be close to it, but it's going to be a little bit different almost every time whereas like the rooster deer they've got groups of like three to five on average and as long as you're leaving two per zone like two per herd you're going to get those respawns coming back also another phenomenal grinding option for money on emerald coast is definitely the red deer i mean red deer have always been super good for cash and if you can, if, you, if you're willing to take the time to like figure out where your red deer are, they can definitely be really good money. Okay, nothing here this time. Yeah, all black bear are solos. I did not think that they were at first either. Until I started like picking up all their drink zones for the grind and I noticed that every single drink zone for bears said one. It's like a lot of times with like the whitetail grind, I'll check what the drink zone says. Like when you pick up the track, like the drink zone track, it'll tell you the herd size if you have the, I think it's a skill, it's either a skill or a perk that tells you the number of or the size of the herd that has left that drink zone track and like oh what the no males here either okay we're missing our males anyway as I was saying for whitetail like I'll check to make sure that it's not two herds in one group or in one zone just so I don't accidentally delete a zone without uh, realizing it they're not there either But, um, where was I? The lack of red deer males is throwing me off. But yeah, so like, I'll, I'll check that with the whitetail to make sure I don't delete any zones accidentally. And so I was doing that with the bears and I noticed that literally all of them say one. And so ever since then, I've kind of checked like all the different species just to make sure like, are they a herd animal? Are they an animal that is in solos? And yeah, stuff like the crocs and the uh, the gators and the, I think all of the bear species are all solos. There's no like herds or groups of any kind. I think it might be the same one for foxes as well. I think they're all solos. Nothing. What's going on here? Yeah, it could be a great one. There might be a great one on the map, kind of throwing everything out of whack. There we go. What map would I recommend for a moose great one grind? I would say if you're doing herd management, Layton's going to be the easiest to manage down. If you don't want to do herd management, I would go with Medved or Revon Tuli, uh, because there's a lot more moose on those maps. And Revon Tuli is just a beautiful map to grind on. I absolutely love the scenery of it. Oh, we got a level 9. 
our first level nine of the day. Let's freaking go, guys. Whoa, 263 minimum estimate. Hold up. This thing's a beast. That thing's actually huge. That, that, that could be in contention to be like one of the biggest red deer we've killed. That's got a good estimate. That has a crazy good estimate. Let's hope it's a good one. Let's hope that we can break 270. I don't think it will break 270. It didn't look like it had the uh, tip to tip spread, but maybe if we're lucky, it'll be close. My guess is going to be 266.5. That's what I think. 266.5. And survey says 265.74. It's a max weight, though. Holy. Love to see it. I was close on the score, too. I said 266.50. It's 265.74. That's a big male. That is a big male right there. I like Fooster, uh, Owen. I've been a fan of his channel for quite a while. Watched a ton of his content. Nice, Chase. That's awesome, dude. Oh, what's that? Yeah, that's one of the solo fives. Got a fabled birch typical rack. I'm so happy. Dude, that is my dream great one. Congrats, man. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Oh, there we go. That's the respawn. That's our respawn right there. Love to see it. Let's go put this tent over there. What is my favorite gun for Moose? Probably the 300 Magnum. It's really, really good. What guns do I recommend mindlessly running around Australia with? Um, Got a couple options that I use quite often. One of them is using the 308 AR, the 338 bolt action. And the 22 250, and then like the 22 of your choice. Another option that's pretty fun is just 7 millimeter bolt action, the 223 AR, and the 22 of your choice. Like those, those types of guns, I have a lot of fun with here on Australia. There we go. Now we can just fast travel over here to pick him up. Yeah, TJ, I was so shocked to see a Mela that nice. Like, as you guys know, if you've been around the channel for a bit, I have notoriously terrible luck on Melanistic Red Deer. It was my most wanted trophy for the longest time. And it literally took me like over, I think it was over 15,000 kills just to get one to spawn. It was like over 10 or 15,000, somewhere in that range before I even had one spawn on my map. It was insane. Like, I don't think I've had that bad of luck with almost any other rare that I've grinded for. Yeah, I don't think I've ever spent that much time trying to get one single rare. And when I did finally get it, it was a level five. <laughs> and then later in the grind, like a few thousand kills later, I did get a nice level seven Mela, but I've never had them this quick. We had an initial spawn level seven Mela here on Emerald. And then we also got that giant mythical that was in today's video. It's been a lot better than uh, what it was like on Tiawaroa for Melas, at least. Can't say the same for managing down the map, though. Tiawaroa is definitely way easier to manage down for Red Deer. I do play on PC, yes, I do. 
But yeah, it was so good dynamic. Honestly, like the, the pre spook range change days were crazy on Tiabaroa. Ah, it's a mythical. Was hoping that would be a legendary. It kind of looked like it for a second, but it is a mythical. There we go. What do I think the next great one is? Personally, I feel like it's going to be either an elk or a wild boar. I feel like those make the most sense. As wild boar would be a non-antlered great one and it would be able to be on Hirschfelden. Um, and I think elk potentially because Jaxie said elk in a way that seemed like they already had something planned. Like somebody asked a question in the chat as to whether or not, like what Jaxie would think of a great one elk. And Jaxie was like, huh, an elk. Yeah, like an elk would be awesome. Like, I think they would have, we would have to do it like, so that you could get it from both Rockies and Roosevelt elk. Like some kind of hybrid. Like the way he said it just made me think that this is already something that they've planned. So I, I think it could potentially be an elk. I really do. I think it could potentially be an elk. Hey, there we go. Another legendary. The nines are popping in. Nice. Love to see it. Any rare fur types or diamonds yet? Uh, yes, Booter. This is our second diamond of the day. This is diamond number two on the day for us. I don't think it has any like correlation RTS. I don't think him being on Africa means that we're going to get one on Africa. Ooh, that's big. 257 is big for this rack actually. Looking good, man. I probably will at some point outdoors family. I probably will at some point. Nothing over there. Thing is though, he hopped on Savannah instantly, not looking for another map. I, I still don't think that has any correlation. I think he was just hunting around. Dick? Big male back there. I mean, I'd have to go back and watch it, but the thing is, they've already asked about Predator Great Ones before. Like, they've uh, they've done that type of stuff many times. Right now, I don't really think there's any, like, solid hints out there that say what we're going to get next. I think the, the one that I've seen that has the most chance of being a hint is definitely that Elk one, but hard to say they also did that poll asking if we would like a predator uh great one so it's hard to say so what are you guys thinking of the uh red deer content so far i know a lot of you requested red deer content like over the last few months i i can't think of any other grind that i've had more requests for than red deer had so many people saying they wanted to see me do Red Deer again, and I didn't really want to do it because of the fact that I've already got all the different Red Deer Great One variations. But considering like Emerald Coast is such an awesome map and it's so beautiful and I really want to see a Red Deer Great One on Emerald Coast just walking around, I figured we'd do it again. And it looks like for the most part you guys have really enjoyed it based on like the video performance and stuff like that seems like you guys have been enjoying it and it looks based on your answers in chat it sounds like you guys are enjoying it for sure it's definitely been kind of a breath of fresh air for me it's a little different than 
the type of grinds we've been doing recently and a lot of fun. It's been a challenge though. It has been a big challenge, like getting everything managed down. That guy's not going to give us a good shot. We're going to zoom up there and hope that we can smoke him. Oh yeah, Megan, we did uh, a while ago. Well, not really a while ago. It feels like a while ago because I've been spending like 10 plus hours on the game every day grinding. But I shot all of the diamonds yesterday for today's video. Nothing else here, just that one little male. There's all those. Some tips about Great One Black Bear. Uh, the biggest tip I can give you about the Great One Black Bear is to be prepared to move around the entire map because bears move all the time. Every time you shoot a bear, it's really tough to predict where it's going to go. You're going to have to hunt all of the different lakes. And I do, I do recommend doing herd management for bears just to get them to be a little bit more tolerable. Although I don't know if you're, uh, if you're interested in herd management or not. I would recommend checking out iBuy's, iBuy Premium's Black Bear Guide though, because he does pretty good with the bears. I think Lady Legend also did a guide with him. I don't have an up-to-date bear guide on the channel. I'll probably make one eventually. You know, I think the same day that I make this Emerald Coast guide, I'll probably make the guide for Black Bear on Silver Ridge, kind of talking about what I do for them. We'll see, though. There we go. Another big boy seven. When will I do another lodge tour? No clue to be honest. Found a diamond turkey when I was grinding for red deer. You love to see it, man. Those surprise diamonds when you're doing a grind are always so cool. Like uh, the first day that I was doing this red deer grind, we ended up finding a diamond hog deer. Like. I wouldn't have found that thing if I hadn't done this. I've got a couple videos on it, uh, FTW. I've got a few videos on the Trophy Lodge. Um, it's been probably like four or five months since I did my last one, but... I've got Trophy Lodge tours on the channel. Is there a reason why you're butchering them? Like with the wrong gun? Uh, speed. That's really all it comes down to, just for speed. If I shoot them with the proper gun, they're gonna die slower, I'll have to walk more to claim them, and that's gonna waste time. So we shoot them with the 338 to make sure that they die on the spot, and if I make a bad shot, they're not gonna run as far as if I was using the 308 or the 30 6 or something like that. So it's really just to save time and make it so I can kill more per hour. Alright, nothing at this zone this time around. What was the least amount of red deer I've had to kill before getting a great one? 180. My sixth red deer grind was 180 kills. Which was honestly a breath of fresh air after all the long grinds we had at the beginning of the red deer grind. Like, our first two Red Deer grinds were 3,000 each, then we had a 6,000 kill grind, then a 6,700 kill grind after, and then I had one that was like, I think, 680, and then a 180 after. This grind right now is at 1,175, so we're on our way to a long grind again. All my grinds have been really long recently, I don't know what's up. We're on kind of a bad streak. We're currently, like, Almost 2,500 kills into the bear grind. Our last fallow deer took like, what, 17 or 1,800 kills? And now we're 1,175 into this red deer grind, and it's looking like it's going to be a long one. 
It's a nice looking mythical. That's the same rack that Armella had. So pretty, man. I love that rack so much. It's just so freaking nice. Alright, both of the males are dead. How many kills before Fallow Great One? I can vary quite a bit. On average, most people seem to get their Fallow Great One between like 500 and 1500 kills. However, I do know quite a few people where it's took more than 3,000. I also know a lot of people where it's been like a couple hundred. So it varies quite a bit, but most are between 500 and 1,500. Is that Zaki I see? Moose Armin 69 seems like a Zaki type of name. Thirty-one looking good. I do good kids gaming, but it's really outdated. I do have an HM guide for Tiabaro, but it's very, very outdated. So I don't even know if it would be accurate anymore. It's been a long time since I've made one because I haven't really grinded Red Deer on Tiabaro ever since they moved them around. And by move them around, I don't mean like the uh, I don't mean the redistribution. Like, there was an update where they weren't supposed to move Red Deer, but then, like, a lot of people got their Red Deer reset. Others had them just moved around the map. It was weird. And ever since that happened, I just haven't grinded Red Deer off of Tiabaroa. So, sadly, I don't have anything super, super up to date. All these thick males, dude. That's kind of crazy to go 500 without a diamond, Thomas. That's like not normal at all. Like you should be getting a diamond fallow deer every 70 to 100 kills without HM. They're one of the easier diamonds to get, so that's crazy you win 500 without one. That's pretty wild. Is spink, uh, pink spotted pig rare? No, I don't believe pink spot it is. Just regular pink would be, though. Pink pig is rare. Spotted pig is not. Come on. Dude. Stop for a second. Boop. Thank you. Seen a lot of that rack showing up. Kind of hope another rare spawns, like, right now, because we got a pretty good chance of it being a mythical. Just based on the amount of mythicals we're seeing recently. Lots of these big males right here. How many great ones do I think I'll get in my lifetime? That depends on like how long Call of the Wild is a thing, right? Because I mean, at some point in the future, Call of the Wild will definitely get like a new game replacing it, right? Just like how Classic got replaced by the Hunter Call of the Wild. I'm sure one day Call of the Wild will probably uh, have a, a competitor, right, that might take over. Whether it's an EW game or like from another company. Not going to get a good shot on that guy. Um, But I, I would think we're easily going to break 100 over the next few years. If I were to take a guess. It also depends on like how long I continue being like a hardcore grinder. You never know, at some point down the road I might get bored of doing like hardcore grinds. Really hard to say. Don't need a four there. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. Snakehead, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. If they ever add a great one, Red Fox or Kaya, what maps would you grind if I do? If they ever add a Red Fox, I'm grinding Emerald Coast because the fox population is really good here. For coyote, I would have to say Rancho. Rancho, I feel, is the only tolerable coyote map.
What have you missed? A couple of diamonds so far. We've had, what, two diamonds on the day, I think? Maybe three. It's two or three. We've had two or three diamonds on the day. What is the best great one? Whichever one you like the most. But uh, in, in terms of like what I think is my personal favorite. My personal favorite for great ones is the moose. But it's hard to say if they're the best. Because they're not as easy to grind as some of the others. I guess it depends on what your definition of best is. Moose, in my opinion, is the best looking. But the most fun to grind is probably fallow deer. Fallow deer are a lot easier. But like the whitetail great one also looks incredible. And it's got so much variety in the racks, like... There's a lot of, uh... A lot of them that could be considered the best. And I'm sure there'll probably be different answers depending on who you ask. At some point, Dawson. At some point, we'll do one. I don't do them super often because otherwise there's not enough new things for like a full video. I try to space my uh, lodge tours out like 6 to 12 months so that I can make sure there's a lot of new stuff to show off. Otherwise it ends up being very similar to like the previous lodge tour. Whoa. We got a new four here. Hey, let's freaking go. We got a three, a four, and a four. And then there's that five. Ah, well, I guess we're going to leave that there. That's wild. We're just slowly, like, getting a few extra fours popping up. The problem is, like, even if I wanted to shoot a four from that zone, I couldn't because I don't know which four is from the herd and which one is a solo. So I'd have to, like... Grab the tracks, remember the estimate of the one that I spotted. And then come back the next run. But I think we'll leave it because I, I don't really like checking that zone anyway for just one stag. Ain't nothing crazy there. Nice, Jesse, that's awesome. Hey, Stray Gamer, hope you're doing good. Oh, I have every type of music you could think of for the most part, Joel. My playlist has like acoustic stuff. It's got metal. It's got rap. It's got, I guess not rap because it's just the instrumentals. Oh, that's a, that's a diamond. It's got like a, you know, trap type beats. It's got the funk type stuff. It's got everything. It's got rage beats. It's got everything you could possibly think of. Should be vitals. Yep, he's going down. Uh, there should be one more herd that hasn't shown up. How many moose do I have? Is it seven? Uh, yeah, it's seven of them. Start talking about music again. We might get a great one. Uh, another nine. Even if it doesn't get us a great one, we have two nines in this zone. Oh, and, and an eight. Where was that eight when I spotted before, by the way? He just like poofed into existence. Gosh, I can't aim. I'm so sorry, bro. I know that was excessive, but I like... What do you want from me? You were running. <laughs> I'm really liking this Emerald Coast grind, guys. It's been fun, to say the least. It's worked out better than I thought it would, to be honest. It, it has been really annoying trying to manage down the solos, but aside from that, this has been a fun grind.
And it's a real nice change up from all the grinding we've done on other maps. 265. Boom. That's another diamond. He's a good one, but is the other one better? There's that one right there. Now, what was the estimate on this guy? I never checked what it was when I shot him. Did he have a good estimate or no? Hey, Regulator, I'm doing good, man. 265, okay, he did have a good estimate then. I have the game on Steam. Want to get a Rancho? Great one. Searched every like multiple times and only have 12 Whitetail Zones. Oh, you definitely have more than that, man. There's no way you only have 12. My guess is you're you're not catching them at the right time. Like sometimes you'll see a, there's a lot of zones that will not show up immediately because the animals are late. The animals are probably just late to their zones. I would recommend probably... Going through the same zones, but in the opposite order. That way, like, the zones that you were hitting at the beginning are going to be the last ones you go to. And so there's more time for the animals to get there. I do a grinding method called herd management, uh, Normorse. It gives you more diamonds, essentially. So the way that it works is... If you leave a crap load of low level animals on your map the game tries to compensate for all the low levels by spawning better animals that's how you get a ton of diamonds showing up there we go what's my favorite thing about live streaming oh just the interaction really the interaction is the big thing for me. Like, if, if I wasn't looking for, like, the interaction with you guys and getting to chat with all of you, then I'd just do videos. But streaming provides that interaction that you just can't get with a video. Like, sure, I can reply to comments and stuff in a video, which, you know, that's interaction, but it's not the same as replying to people live. What is the point of stacking? To help get lower levels faster. So, for example, if I'm not stacking, eventually I'm going to get to a point where no more level 4s and below are going to spawn for the red deer. We'll just get to a point where there's so many 4s on the map that I just can't get any more. Stacking up a bunch of diamonds will help you get extra 4s and below. Because you're raising up the average score of your population of that animals by having all those diamonds stacked up. And so it makes it so the game... It makes it so the game will allow you to get a few more low levels because you've raised up that average score. And then when you kill off all those diamonds, you're going to be getting diamonds quicker than what you were previously. Oh, and also, keep in mind, um, this isn't necessarily related to what you were asking, but this is a question. Not really a question, honestly, but just something I see a lot. I Every, every time that... Every time that we talk about it, there's always a few people that think that herd management works with, like, whatever zones you're grinding. And that it's based on, like, just what you're grinding. So, like, you have 10 zones that you're grinding and you got to manage down, like, 70% of those. And then that's going to give you the, the better spawns. But that's not how it works. It's based on your entire population of that species. Even zones that you've never discovered. But can be tough and... I'm consuming to get it working but it's worth it in the end you know it's hard work pays off you get rewarded for all the time that you spend managing the map oh come on bro come on bro Hey, Chubby Italian, how's it going, dude? Does anybody feel like the game just says too much now? Haven't been able to get back into it for a while now? Uh, there is a lot to it, that's for sure. I mean, at this point, we're at, like, what, 13 or 14 different maps and 
crap load of animals on all of them. Each of those animals has a million different rares and stuff to go for. All these new weapon packs and things we've got over the last couple of years. Yeah, I can see that. There's definitely a lot. A lot to take in if you're returning to the game. Definitely a lot to take in. Uh, you can HM anything, Daniel. Anything in the game can be herd managed. I know, right, Merle? Crazy. <laughs> Still nothing spawned there. Have I ever accidentally shot a rare duck? Um, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely have. During early access for Revlon Tuli Coast, I accidentally shot a leucistic teal without realizing it. It was quite the nice surprise. Going up to claim, and there's just a beautiful rare teal there. It was a very nice surprise. Mentalis, thank you for the five months, man. Really appreciate it. I hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're having a phenomenal day. Hey, little feller. I mean, you're not really a little feller. But you're you're a feller. How's it going? Is Piebald Harlequin rare? No, I don't believe it is. I think Harlequins and Mallards and Cinnamon Teal, like the Piebald is a common for all of those. Now, if it's like a teal or like one of the other duck species off of like Rev or something, then those are all rare if they have a piebald. I'm trying to remember what else has piebald for the for the ducks. I actually don't think any of the Rev on Thule species have piebald, do they? I don't think it has chubby Italian. I think it's just the way that content creators play. Like there's nothing stopping you from playing the game the way that it was played five years ago. You know, it's just like the, the focus for some creators has shifted because of great ones, but like, there's nothing stopping you from going out and just hunting. I mean, I do that as well for like videos because I, I enjoy it as well. I, I think it's really just like the perspective it's really just about, like, your perspective on it. Like, you can still enjoy the game in the same ways you used to. It's just one of those scenarios where, like, a lot of us creators have played this game so much over the years and we've done so many different things in it that we're at a point where, like, the, the one thing that we still haven't already done is like achieve all the like rarest trophies in the game so now we're doing a lot of the grinding for some of those rarest things in the game and just like uh doing grinds to keep uh to keep ourselves interested and stuff as you can imagine like with as with, with as much as i play this game like i gotta find ways to keep myself interested and so I think that's really just what it comes down to is you see a lot of creators do it because it's what is most interesting to a lot of us is like trying to chase these amazing trophies for our lodges. That it can be easy to forget that, you know, you can still play the game in whatever way you enjoy. Hopefully, hopefully that made sense because I was like, Stumbling over my words a little bit in places there, trying to figure out what I was trying to say. Oh, we got a new four here. We got a new four here. Oh, no. We got a new four here. Which one is it? What's our new four? I think that's the new four. No. No, no, no. That's definitely not the new four. That one was there before.
There we go. Feels like I don't get anything cool, which is a double-bladed sword. Just can't find the balance, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I get it. I, I, I get what you're saying. Like, you want all of the... You want all the really cool rares, the great ones and stuff like that, but you don't want to have to play in, like, a farming style. Similar to what I'm doing. I get it. And it can be tough to find a balance. I mean... Multiplayer hopping is still a cool option to kind of get something different where you get a, a really a good rush and like a good feeling when you find the trophies, but it's not like it's not like grinding per se. Yo, Andrew, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good, man. Do I feel like I'm one of the best players in the Hunter? I'll be honest, I don't really compare myself to anybody else. I'm just having fun at the end of the day. I'm not trying to be the best. I'm not trying to, like, compare myself to others. I'm just having fun. Making content on the game that I enjoy. Holy, I can't believe we dropped them all. I didn't think we'd get them all before they ran. That's insane. Bro, can you get a great one? Uh, you can ask the great one that. I don't know. They, they, they don't seem to like me today. To be fair, we're only 1199 kills into the grind. So there, there's plenty of time for a great one to pop up. Uh, the codex is pretty broken, Colton. Anybody that's had the game longer than a couple of years has a broken codex. Because there was a few updates, like, two or three years ago, that made it so it stopped tracking things properly. And ever since then, it's just not been the same. In fact, like, there's currently a bug with the codex even where it's not tracking Moose Great Ones properly. So it's still bugged even now. So I don't use the codex for, like, any type of... What's the word? Reliable data. That's why I've got like diamond counters and great one counters on screen. And it's why I like keep track of all my kills on like a, a notepad file on my PC. I've got a little bit over 86,000 kills on great one grinds alone. And probably like 10,000, maybe 15,000 that aren't great one grinding. So close to 100k kills. I think my codex says like 87k though. Because a lot of them didn't get tracked properly. And if I if I kill something but don't claim it, it's not going to count it in the codex either. But it still ends up respawning. So it's technically still a kill towards the grind. Yeah, sadly the, the codex just isn't a reliable way to check your stats. Unless you're a new player, then it's a little bit easier because you haven't had to go through all the bugged updates where the codex was being weird. Aside from the fact that it doesn't track Great One Moose right now. Holy crap, dude. We are really low on ammo. I had 2,000 rounds in my 338 like four days ago. <laughs> that If that doesn't tell you how much I've been shooting Red Deer, I don't know what will. I'm almost out of ammo for the 338. That's crazy. Let's buy some real quick because I am going to need it. We're going to blow through this super quick. All right. If you if you have epilepsy or anything like that that's going to cause seizures to like flashing things, close your eyes now because this is going to flash like crazy when I'm spamming this ammo. Apologies. We got a little bit of an ammo refi refill break happening. What should I fish on Norway? How about chub? Chub are a fun fish to go for. Oh no, Stony, that sucks, dude. 
That sounds like some save file corruption. That's unfortunate, man. Oh, gosh. Fingers already getting tired. How much money do I have in game? A little bit over 16 and a half million. I had 17 million, but then the Red Deer grind came along and I've had to reset the time so much trying to chase solos that I've lost so much money. But we'll probably gain it back from this Red Deer grind. Red Deer give a lot of cash. Yeah, Kokam, I remember you, dude. Best size six for, wait. Size six for silvers and upright? I believe so, yes. And I think size five will get you gold and above. Yo, TTK, what's up, man? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a good day. You got a super rare hog deer? Dude, that is a sick super rare. That's one that I'd really like to get. My brother has one. And he also has a super troll hog deer. And I, I've kind of been jealous of them. They look really good. I'll, if I remember to, I'll go check out the one that you posted. Okay, we did it. 3,000 ammo. Let's get to blasting, brother. I'm level 60, Caden. Oh, that's a nine. Dude, the nines are popping up like crazy. You love to see it. Yeah, I honestly don't even think I need to like manage down the rest of the solos. I think we're good. I think we're good enough, man. I was worried that I shot all the stacked nines too soon, but I think we, I think we did okay. We're not going to be getting like fallow deer numbers of diamonds like we're not going to be getting a diamond every 15 to 17 kills like we were with fallow but we're going to be getting them like every 20 probably which is still really good right now before this stream started my average was a diamond every 25 kills since i killed the stacked ones not counting all the stacked ones we'll see if that average goes up after this how do I not get bored of grinding? Uh, just having all those goals, man. For me, like... The feeling you get when a great one spawns, like the rush of adrenaline, it makes it all worth it. And also, all the side quests that I have along the way, like... For this grind, I'm also after a super rare Mela Red Deer. I'm after, uh... Rare fur types with a specific rack, like... I've got multiple different things that I'm chasing in a grind that keeps me like focused on the end goal. And then the biggest thing, the biggest thing is the fact that I'm streaming it to you guys because having all of you guys to chat with, it really helps keep everything interesting no matter what it is. And like when you're looking at it through like uh, the eyes of a content creator, I'm also constantly thinking about like what type of cool videos I could make out of a grind. Like, for example, the last three days I've posted Red Deer videos. Normally, I wouldn't post, like, three videos of the same thing, like, in a row. But I've just been having a lot of fun with this grind. And it's made me excited to, like, get the next Red Deer video uh, going. It's been a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. No, he's talking about, like, uh, chat moderators, Ryder. He's talking about the chat moderators. There we go. Two more down. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, dude. Hope you're doing good. Hey, plane spotting. Hope you're having a good day, man. Little level six over there. Boop. I love using these uh, waterfowl blinds for some of these grinds. Like, I'm so glad that I decided to try them out 
a couple months ago or whenever it was like it has really made a difference in some of these grinds like as long as you're in an area where you don't need elevation to like see over a hill or some bushes they're so convenient because you can place them so close to the tent and it's easy to get out of them you just jump over them really has sped things up on our fallow grind and parts of our bear grind and now the red deer grind can't believe I never used these until recently. The only downside is there's a very low limit that you can have for blinds. I think you're only allowed like 16 blinds on the map or something like that. So that's the one downside. If you need more than 16, you're going to have to use something else. Why do bear grinds take so long? I don't know, Ryder. But it doesn't for everybody. I mean, Caitlyn's got three great one bears and just over 3k kills. Ibai has spawned over 10 bears in like what 5,000 kills maybe even less I just have bad luck with bears that's really all it comes down to I just have awful luck with them everybody has like some species that they're that they just don't have good luck with for me it's bears bears just don't like me But it is what it is. I know, Zacky. That's what I'm saying, man. What's up with his luck? But again, you know, I can't complain. I had the same type of luck with Fallow. That's a mythical. It did take me longer to get my Fallow than it has to get his moose, but... It still took, like, not that long for me to get a bunch of Fallow. They were very consistently spawning at 500 or less. All right, two down. Should be one more herd there. Yeah, big boy mythical. Love to see it. Ooh, smoking him. Those drop shots are so satisfying because, like, back when we were using the 300 for our Red Deer grind, they didn't drop that often. Like, usually they still ran away, but this 338 is a game changer for Red Deer grinders. If you're just after speed and don't care about getting full score, this gun is so freaking good for the Red Deer grind. Nice, MXG, that's awesome. That is awesome, man. Congrats on that. And yeah, I hope so too, man. I hope so too. We'll get it eventually. We'll see if we can get ourselves a great one, Red Deer, today. I don't know if we'll get it today. We're still pretty early in the grind, but you never know. Maybe we'll get lucky. Ooh. That's a mythical. Also, we haven't really gone for Red Deer much since they redid the furs. What do you guys think of the new look of the fur? I think it's pretty solid. I definitely think it's nicer than before. There's more variety. They don't all look identical. Like the, the darker fur has a longer, it's got longer like neck, neck fur than this one does. Like, look at this. There's barely any neck fur. It's lighter colored. And then we go up to this one over here and it looks more like the old red deer. Longer neck fur, darker color. I do like that variety. It makes it so it's not as like repetitive. Okay, no males over there. We got two at that zone that we just picked them up from, so didn't expect them to be to be across, but is what it is. Figured it was worth checking. Hey Delta, how's it going? What gun is that? That is the 338 bolt action. It's part of the Hunter Power Pack uh, DLC. Yeah, that'd be six. Uh, M MXG. Oh, we got a big boy again. Oh yeah, we're we're definitely managed enough. This is crazy. These red deer are being so good. This kind of brings me back to the days of Tiabroa. Uh, given no, you know, it's not as extreme. 
Back on the Tiabaroa days, we were getting a diamond every like 10 to 15 kills, so we're not quite there. But it, it's 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 darn close, man. It is darn close. You think it's a troll? I don't think that'll be a troll, nah. I don't think so. It's too wide to be a troll. 253. Boom. Another diamond on the board. Wait, what did I what did I miss in chat, TTK? What's going on? I I've been like looking at the red deer, so I think I missed it all. Yeah, it is a big one. Oh, see, yeah, th yeah, that that makes sense, TTK. Huh? Are you a nine? Yeah, that's a guaranteed troll. That's a guaranteed troll rack nine. Nice, got them both. Sounds like something CJO would say. I mean, the way I see it is it's similar to saying like scallywags, you know? It's just something you don't hear very often. Any sign of the great one? No, not yet, but we've been getting tons of diamonds today. I I just got a feeling that we will get a super rare at some point during this grind. If we continue to get one level nine to show up pretty much every single run, we're bound to eventually get a super rare. Just going to be a matter of how long will it be? I think if we keep this grind going for a long time, we'll definitely get a super rare. What levels does the 338 go to? Uh, the 338 is 7 to 9, I believe. Who's my longest time member? Oh gosh, let me check. There's a few people that have been members for a very, very long time. I know Lone Wolf is up there. David is up there. Let me see real quick. I'll, I'll do a quick little check for you. See your members total time as member okay so the longest yeah David is the longest running member uh, David's a, a friend of mine I've known him for years and years and years before I did YouTube he's been a member for 37 months and then Lone Wolf has been one for 35 months uh, Squish Flint has been one for 34 months Jake for 33 my wife has been a member for 33 uh, Nate F for 33 uh Tur Turi Sass for 33. Owen for 32. My sister has been a member for 32 as well. Like we we've got some longtime members here on the channel that have been here for ages. Gosh, it's crazy to think there's people that are almost at 40. Oh, that's a three. <laughs> no, why do you gotta spawn in a good zone? I'd love to leave this three, but like I can't, dude. I can't leave a three in a good zone like this just just not gonna happen I'm sorry buddy I I'd love to leave you but not gonna happen but she already is hypified hey another one holy crap dude the map is popping off it is absolutely popping off this is crazy I didn't think I didn't think our HM was going to be this good. I thought it was at a decent state, but I didn't think it was at a two diamonds a run type of state, but that's kind of what we've been seeing today. We are popping them left and right. Okay, I think we got vitals there. This is insane. It makes me happy. It makes me happy to see that we are far enough along. And you know why it makes me happy? Because that means I don't got to chase solos anymore. <laughs> That is the thing that makes me the happiest, is that I don't have to chase those solo red deer anymore. Because I spent probably 
10 hours chasing solos like two days ago and it was awful i think in that 10 ish hours of playing i maybe killed like 150 red deer because the solos move so freaking much that makes me so happy that i never have to chase a solo red deer again We'll probably eventually try to take the HM further, but that won't be until we get at least one great one. 263, it's another max weight. My gosh. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. He's kind of tight. Look at, look at that rack. That's really tight for this rack. Really low scoring, too, for a max weight. That's actually kind of wild. I'll tell you exactly what to do, Colton. Leave level four, three, and two red deer. And then shoot the fives and above. You'll start seeing diamonds pop up a lot more often. Keep in mind, it can take a few hundred kills before you start seeing results, though. It does take a while to get it to actually start working. But eventually, you will see some results like this. I think it took me, like eight or nine hundred kills on this grind to start seeing like some major results with diamonds popping up more often actually i take that back it was about 600 where they started popping more because we were still stacking oh that's when we need to kill how many kills into a diamond whitetail grind um, if you're not doing herd management, it's going to be about a diamond every 100 kills or so. With HM, you can get it down to like a diamond every 30. But if you're just going for one diamond whitetail, then yeah, it's about 100 kills. Obviously, it can be a little bit more or a little bit less. There's a lot of randomness that goes into it. It's just an average of 100. So, I mean, like technically, if you go 200 kills with no diamonds and then you find three of them within the next hundred, that's still an average of a hundred. So it can take longer, but the average is like 100 kills for a diamond. Hey turtle, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. One more down. Another nine. Let's freaking go. Yeah, this is insane. I wonder if it's because we stacked two extra fours at the beginning of this stream. Because I wasn't getting them this often before the stream. I was getting them on average every 25 kills. This is more often than every 25, that's for sure. I think it's got to be those extra two fours that we stacked in that one zone at the beginning of this uh, stream. That had to have been like the tipping point where it's like, okay, we're going to go wild now. Two fifty. Ooh. Ooh, he barely made it. <laughs> that was almost a troll. He barely made it. If there's two plus males in one zone and one female, are those males likely solos? Um... No, they're not probably, they're probably not solos. Like, le if you've got two males and a female in that zone, they're likely a herd. But it's just like a weird looking herd. What species are you talking about? Are you talking about for like, red deer? Because I've never seen solo females for red deer. I'm assuming you're probably talking about whitetail. If you're talking about whitetail, I have had some weird herds like that that were like one doe and two bucks. So I'd say it's likely a small herd. The only way that you can 100% know is to go up to their drink zone and pick up the drink zone track. If the drink zone track says one, then you know there's at least a solo there. If it says three, you know it's a group of three, etc. So I'd recommend doing that. <laughs> nice new name, Zach. Yeah, I like it. Amazing. 
Beautiful. All right, no stags there. What did you miss? A lot of diamonds, man. A lot of diamonds. When do you know you need to start shooting your stacked animals? Uh, whenever you've got enough fours on the map. That's really... That's the only purpose of stacking, is to get more fours and below for red deer, or like whatever the levels are for the species you're going for. Whenever you've got enough low levels on the map, that's when you kill the diamonds. And then... After you kill all the diamonds, just keep rotating on your main zones for like a couple hundred kills and see how often diamonds pop up after that. If you start getting diamonds like at least on average every 30 kills, then you know that your herd management is at a pretty decent point. There's another troll rack. Yeah, we're on an insane streak right now. Holy crap. This is crazy. 1,224 kills into the grind. Hate to see it, man. Those guaranteed trolls, they hurt the soul. They really do. They hurt the soul. At some point, I may end up killing this guy because that would be just like another thing that we could grind. That would be very efficient if I kill that one and use that zone to grind but I don't know if I will because like at the same time I don't know if he's going to come back to the same zone I have a couple of zones that occasionally get red deer just out of nowhere and I don't want to add like another one to that mix do a quick reload I do herd management so it depends on the species but the concept is kind of the same across the board you leave low levels and you kill high levels so, for example, with Red Deer, leave the 4s, the 3s, and the 2s, and kill the 5s, 6s, 7s, and 8s, and 9s. That's really all it comes down to. Just leave the small ones, kill the big ones. I've got guides on the channel for most of the different Great One species. I know for a fact I've got a herd management guide for whitetail, I've got one for fallow, I've got one for Tiaboroa red deer, but it's kind of outdated, so I wouldn't follow that one like 100%. There's definitely going to be some inconsistencies. I don't think I've done a moose one because moose are kind of unpredictable. And I haven't done bears yet because they're very unpredictable as well. I do plan to get guides for those at some point though. How much longer will I be streaming for? Not sure. Likely another hour or two at the minimum. I'm having a blast right now, so this stream might go on for a good bit. Gosh, I love the 338. <laughs> so satisfying. I already answered you, Ty. Um... If you missed it, rewind the stream a little bit, and you'll end up seeing it. To do an Emerald Coast Red Deer tutorial, I think I definitely will. I've kind of got a, a decent, a decent idea of how to do it on this map now. I think the biggest thing is going to be trying to focus those solos early. Like, to be honest, I wouldn't even recommend shooting anything out of herds until you get some of the solos managed. Like, I made the mistake of trying to, like, stack up some nines first, and so then I'd end up getting fours and stuff in the main herds, and I'd be like, ah, oh, well, I can't shoot them. I'm going to leave them. But that just made it harder to get the solos managed down. So the quick Red Deer tutorial is focus all your solo males first. Try to get as many fours as you can. When you get to a point where you're not seeing fours popping up anymore, um, start trying to stack some diamonds in like really good herds that you plan on using as main zones. And then once you've got a few diamonds stacked up, go back to the solos, try to get more of them to be fours. I think that's going to be the way that we'll have to do it. Yo, Johnny, what's up? This red deer grind has been nuts. It has been a lot of fun so far.
What else we got here? There's the five solo. Oh, that's... There he is. That's the one we need to get. He always stops right next to the tent. So nice. How many kills on the grind? 1,228. Honestly, it feels good to be back hunting red deer. I have a lot of solo fours that are like 240 plus. Uh, just starting my first great one moose grind. Should I just shoot them solo fours or leave them? Um, if you have solo fours, I would definitely shoot them because solo fours are... They're probably the most annoying thing to deal with on a moose grind. Like... I didn't fully manage like every solo moose that I had because it would just be, it would just not be fun to chase them around as long as I would have to. So I just tried to make sure I had no fours as solos or killed off as many of the fours as I could. I would recommend shooting all those uh, solo fours. It, just know that it's going to take some time to find where they respawn. And you may be chasing those solos for a long time. But it'll be worth it in the end because you'll probably get better respawns in your herds if you get rid of all the fours in the uh, solo zones. But it will take a lot of time to get them managed down. How long have I played this game? I've played it since the beginning of the game, really. I got to participate in the pre-release beta that happened in December of 2016. Uh, to be honest, that was pure luck, though. You signed up with your email and they chose random people to do it. So I got to play it back then and I've kind of played it ever since. Took a little bit of a break. A few months after it released, I spent maybe like a year or two where I didn't really play it too much aside from coming back whenever they would add a new map and checking it out a little bit. And then when they announced... Trophy lodges and true racks and stuff like that. I got back into the game pretty heavily. And I think ever since they added true racks into the game, I went from having maybe a few hundred hours in the game to having over 6,000 now. So I, I've played the game for a while. Is there a way to see the pics you've taken in Call of the Wild? If you're on PC, yes. I don't think you can on the consoles. I think with the console, you have to use the actual, like, built-in screenshot feature of the console instead of the camera. What about just solo threes and females? Um, I would leave those, yeah. If you have solo threes and solo females, I would leave them. Just because, yeah, moose are really tough to manage down, so it's like the only species, really, where I won't try to get everything managed down fully. Because the solos are just a pain. So yeah, if you just get them down to being threes, that's probably good enough. Come on. There we go. Finally hit close enough to get his attention. Hey! How'd you get away from that? He's dodging like it's nothing. Finally hit. I don't think it was vitals, but we hit him. Did we kill that other one? We did. Wow. Okay. We actually got vitals. Not going to lie. I didn't think we did. I mean, Paxton, you just got to watch when I open the map and you'll see where I am. I'm opening the map constantly to fast travel. There's no need to spam, man. 
I'm opening the map like all the time. Oh, if you're talking about the actual map, yeah, it's Emerald Coast. Back over here we go. How many drink zones are there for Moose on Medved? 130 or more. The thing about Moose is the solos, every time you shoot them, it'll delete the zone and then they'll create a new one wherever they move to. And sometimes they end up joining other solos or even herds. So it's hard to get a 100% confirmed like zone count number, but it's around 130 or more. Is that? Yeah, it's a new four. That's a new four. I need to shoot that. There we go. That is indeed a new four. Glad you like it, Landon. Glad you like it. What do I shoot for the whitetail great one on light on Layton? I shoot the twos and threes. I leave all the ones. Why do I shoot the new fours? Because they're my main shootables. You don't want to lose your main zones. The the perp the goal in herd management is to manage down all the zones you're not hunting. Like all the zones that you don't intend to hunt permanently are the ones you want to manage down and you want to make sure your main zones stay like shootable males. Like once you've already got everything managed down to the point where you're happy, at that point you just shoot everything that pops up from your respawns. There we go. Mythical. Kind of looked like a legendary for a second. I was getting excited. All right, later, Colton. How am I feeling about this grind? What kill count do you think you'll get the great one? I don't know what kill count I'll get it, but I'm feeling good. I mean, I didn't even have to manage down all the solos and we're getting a diamond like pretty much every run. Like, the solos were the worst part of this grind. Once I got the majority of them managed down, I think there's still probably like 15 to 20 of them that aren't managed down. It's like we're definitely not at the numbers I was hoping to be at in terms of like percentage of population managed down, but it's at a state where it's good enough, you know? And we're still getting a, a diamond pretty much every run. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think it's going to be a consistent grind. I've definitely noticed that the respawns out of the herds are pretty reliable. Like, there's a little bit of variance in terms of, like, sometimes you'll have them bounce to a... What the? Like this? I never have two shootables here. What the? That's kind of wild. Yeah, overall, it's been good. Nothing over there, though. I feel like we're probably going to get this great one at around like 2,000, maybe 2,500. I have not had good luck with red deer in the past. With like 70% of my red deer grinds being very long. Uh, the other one didn't die. Oh, well. Like I have two grinds that were around 3,000. I have two that were over 6,000. And then I have two that were sub 1,000. So... 
I don't feel like my odds are super great for getting a short grind. I feel like it is going to be over 2,000. But we'll see. This grind is definitely feeling refreshing. That's for sure. It's a breath of fresh air to be grinding red deer. Oh, four. Dude, we had a couple fours just pop up out of nowhere. Illegal. Stop it. I need tens, not fours. And now for the last zone of the run. No males here. How many moose drink zones are on Rev? I think it's about the same as Medved, like 130, 120. 140, somewhere in that range. It's kind of hard to pinpoint the exact number for Moose, but it's definitely over 120. Appreciated us starting. Yeah, it was kind of crazy, man. That's the last thing I expected to find. Like, I killed all the stacked diamonds, and I spent like a couple more... Um, a couple more hours grinding, and then that thing popped up. Was the last thing I expected to see. Definitely my favorite red deer trophy I've gotten a very, very, very long time. Uh, whenever I have some, uh, Spectre. What the? That looks weird for some reason. He did not look like a mythical at first because his head was, uh, his head was pulled back because he was doing like a little warning call animation. That was so weird. Nice, oh, Beach, that's awesome, dude. Love to hear it, man. Love to hear it. Nobody knows, Andre. As of now, there's no hints, really, or at least no, like, solid hints. As to what the next one will be. Two nineteen, love to see it. Oh, no worries either way, Clueless. Glad you enjoy the content, man. Guess when you're gonna get a great one? My prediction is twenty two fifty. What is the best map for diamonds from your experience? Just reset my save. Uh, just in general, I'd say Emerald Coast because of the fact that Bantang are a super easy diamond. And the crocodiles seem to give diamonds pretty reliably. And red deer are also species that gives a lot of diamonds. Fallow deer seem to give a decent bit of diamonds. I think Emerald Coast, you're gonna find the most trophies if you just reset. Uh, Tiabaro is also a really good one for trophies. And so is Silver Ridge Peaks. I'd say those are probably three of the better maps for getting lots of diamonds. Um, Quattro, if you want to go for Ibex. Ibex give diamonds so commonly. Like, it's unbelievable how often they give diamonds. What is going on in chat? Oh, man. You guys crack me up sometimes. Best place to start a whitetail grind? Um, I like Leighton Lakes a lot, but a lot of people prefer Rev on Thule. I think what it really comes down to is if you like having a more condensed population. In other words, like having to search less of the map to find all the zones, then Leighton is probably your best bet. The downside to Layton is it's very brushy. And so you're going to be like digging through all the reeds and stuff to find all your, uh, to find all your whitetail. Rev on Thule, however, is very brush free. There's like barely any brush there. Uh, the downside is you have to search a lot larger area to find all of your whitetail. 
So it really comes down to what you prefer. Both can be very good, but it all depends on what you like more. Oh no, Slarting, that's rough, man. I mean, at least it still looks the same in the lodge, right? At least it still looks the same. Or, oh, there's some here. Yeah, there's a couple of them. I'm not going to be able to shoot them from the stand, though. But we do have two new ones here. No clue if uh, Brober is going to stream today. Not a clue. I haven't chatted with him today yet. Not very much, at least. Is the Hunter Power Pack worth it? I think it is. 7mm is a very versatile rifle. And the 338 is a powerhouse for stuff like Black Bear. And then, of course, Red Deer and things like that, even though you don't get full score on them. And the uh, 308 bolt action is just a really like clean and fun rifle to use. I I would say that the Hunter Power Pack is a top three weapon pack for me. Oh, that's right, we already hunted there. I I went in the wrong order, so it threw me off. Should you shoot a solo red deer stag on Tiawaroa? If it's level five or higher, yes, I definitely would. Because you're going to need to, like, shoot those as well. There's a seven there. And a six. All the big males, man. Love to see it. Did you buy the 338 or just keep on using the 300? Uh, 300's fine. Kind of like for certain scenarios, the 338 is better. I, I'd say overall the 300 is a better rifle because it's got less bullet drop. It's got slightly better penetration. Even though like the 338 should be better on those fronts, for some reason the 300 is better. So I would recommend that if you're going for most things, use the 300. But for Black Bear, I prefer the 338. For Red Deer, I prefer the 338 over the 300. And it is a very satisfying rifle to use. It's got an amazing sound. But yeah, like the 300 is going to be perfectly fine to use for pretty much everything. So I wouldn't say the 338 is like a necessity, but it can be fun for some species. Got him. Oh, gotcha, Hypified. Yeah, for Red Deer, it's really good. I mean, having that extra bullet and that slightly higher knockdown power is pretty nice. Because, like, with the Red Deer, you can get a double lung pretty easily with the 338, so it ends up killing them quicker than the 300 would. The way I typically see it is, if you can get double lung with the 338, it's going to kill faster than the 300. But if you can only get single lung, you're better off using the 300. Because the 300 will be better at getting like heart shots and stuff on like moose and things like that because of the lack of drop and the slightly better pen. Like some species, the, 300, or the 338 just can't get double lung. Like for the moose, you can't get double lung with the 338. So at that point, the 300's better off because there's less bullet drop and you can just target hard shots. Is Black Bear the hardest great one? I would say yes. I would say yes. I'd say on average, it is the toughest great one to get.
Come on, give us the goods. Where's the great one? You're not a great one, but you're not bad. Let's hope we got vitals on those. I don't know if we did. Ooh, feels bad. Uh, dynamic feels bad, man. Ah. Uh, okay, so we didn't vitally hit the second one. But I think that second shot did get him good. It's at least going to kill him. No, I, I definitely don't think it does, uh, Matt. I, I don't ever use the proper caliber for my grinds. All of my Great One Fallow have been spawned while using the 300 Magnum on every Fallow deer I saw. And I've got like, what, nine Great One Fallow at this point? So no, I don't think harvest checks matter at all when getting a great one to spawn. I think it was probably just uh, like coincidence that you got yours after you started using the right gun. What is the best ammo for HM? Uh, just the biggest rifle that you can get, really. I wouldn't say there's a best rifle for HM. There's a there's a best rifle for like grinding. But at the end of the day, it kind of comes down to like what your preference is. Some people don't like using the improper ammo, but I recommend using improper ammo just because you'll save time on tracking. Like if I'm shooting red deer with a 338, I'll have to track them less often than if I'm using a 308. I do think that using like a 338 or a 300 Magnum is typically better than using like the proper caliber. Oh. Just for that reason alone. Because it really does speed things up. That's understandable, Cooper. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of personal preference that goes into what you choose. Like, my favorite guns and, like, maps and stuff for grinding aren't necessarily going to be fit for everybody. Can you still get a great one without picking them up? No. As far as we know, that is not going to work. Based on stuff the community has noticed, based on hints that Jaxie Beard has kind of gave us, it does not seem that you can get a great one without claiming animals. You gotta claim them if you want to get the great one. Now, leaving, like, one every once in a while isn't gonna hurt you. Like, I leave a red deer every, like, probably 20 or 30 kills. I'll leave, like, one or two red deer that I didn't hit properly. But, uh, don't be leaving all of them. No claim method doesn't work nearly as good as it used to be. It used to be like a pretty crazy thing to do, and I think that's why we can't do it anymore. I think EW noticed probably and was like, okay, this is too OP. What do I carry with me on the grind? Right now I've got the 308 AR, I've got the 338 bolt action, I've got a 22 with me, and I've got the tents as well in case like uh, one of my tents gets taken down by beavers. And then I also keep like my binoculars and stuff like that. How was that not vitals? Excuse me, bro. I didn't hit either of them vitally. Okay, well, moving on. Didn't get vitals on either of them. Feels bad. Also, no hunting pressure? I use blinds. Ground blinds, tripod stands, tree stands all reduce your hunting pressure. I think it gives like a quarter of the normal pressure.
probably not slarting. No, probably not. The way that I see it is like maybe... I would imagine that if you don't pick it up, maybe it just doesn't count it as a kill. So like maybe that's why you don't get great ones if you're not picking stuff up. I would recommend picking up at least 90% of your animals. Don't leave more than like 10% of them. Anybody that's done no claim method in the last like year and a half or so goes on like 20,000 kill grinds before they realize that they're not going to get one. And then they change to claiming stuff and they end up getting it. So I definitely don't recommend doing any form of no claim. It's just not going to end well for you. You're going to end up killing like 10, 20,000 animals and then just feel like you've wasted your time. So I would claim as many of them as you can. Because the way I see it is, uh, why risk it? If we know that like you're, you are hurting your grind by not claiming them, why risk like only claiming half or something? What diamond should I fish for on the angler? How about largemouth bass? That's a fun one to go for. Hello there, Mr. Red Deer. Oh. Yeah, Merle. I have screenshots of all my previous grinds so I can set them up anytime I want. That's what I do anytime I'm using like uh, the same map for a grind. I just screenshot the old tent setup. That way I can return to it at a later date if I'd like. Do you think the moose grind is hard? It's not the easiest, but it's also not the hardest. I see it as kind of being in the middle. Because the thing is, like, uh, I mean, it also depends on what you consider to be tough, right? Like, I've found that it takes a long time to spawn a Red Deer Great One on average. Like, they take a lot of kills from what I've seen, at least in my personal experience. But, like, it's really easy to find Red Deer, right? And then you got something like Moose, where the Great One Moose usually spawns really quickly. But moose in general are hard to find a lot of them fast, and it's hard to kill a lot of them fast. Wait, really, Chubby Italian? That's that's an interesting bug. I don't think I've had that happen. That's a very interesting bug to run into. I would probably report that to the angler discord in like their bug reporting channel because I, I don't think I've heard of that happening. That's a strange bug. I have no clue who that is, Ben. What are the best spots for Leighton Whitetail Grind? Uh, the entire left half of the map. In Grinding Whitetail and Bravon Tuli actually managed to spawn a great one. Do I need to reset my herd management or can I keep my zones the way they are? Keep them the way they are. You don't have to like change anything with your grind. Like No, Tim A, I, I don't. I enlighten me. Enlighten me. Football player? Like NFL? I don't watch sports, so. I don't watch sports. I don't really care about them. So. Oh, soccer. Oh, soccer. Yeah, I don't. I've never liked soccer ever since I was a kid. Couldn't get into it. Seemed relatively boring compared to football. And it's so like when I was a kid, I only watched football. 
And nowadays, I don't even watch sports. I don't have time to watch sports. So yeah, I, I, I know absolutely nothing about soccer. It just never interested me. Well, nothing popping up here. You can pretty much guarantee Farming Fleet that if any, but if that is a soccer player, I've probably never heard of them. Or at least I've never known that they were involved in soccer. Like, I've heard the names, right? But I have no clue what they're associated with because I just don't care about uh, soccer at all. Like, for me, the order of, like, well, I don't watch sports anymore, but when I used to watch them, this was kind of the order that I enjoyed them in. My favorite was football. Um, college football was my favorite, but NFL was also something I watched a lot. Um, second was probably basketball. Then third was hockey. Fourth was baseball, and fifth was soccer. And I never watched baseball or soccer, so. I didn't really watch hockey either, but I enjoyed like watching highlights and stuff. Mainly because of like the, the action, how brutal it can be. <laughs> I liked watching stuff like that, but. I don't know. I'm just not much of a sports person. I was super hardcore into like NFL and college football for a while, but after I after I got a gaming PC, pretty much all my entertainment was games. Cause like when I was growing up, the second I got a gaming PC, I I would just think to myself like. Why would I watch football when I could play a football game instead and be a part of the action and, like, control what happened? And so I kind of just stopped watching sports. Not to mention we also... I, I'm pretty sure we stopped getting TV. I'm pretty sure we stopped getting TV as well. Because we just weren't watching it as much as we used to, so we didn't feel like it was worth paying every month to keep it. Oh, there is two males there. I mean, I don't have like a, a pig farm where I'm trying to call the pigs to their uh, slop, uh, Ben. I got no reason to say that. What map has the least moose zones? Layton. Layton is the lowest amount of moose in the game. Which is why it's easiest to herd manage, because there's not as many uh, zones, there's not as many moose you have to find. Yeah, the tripods can be a little weird sometimes with those seats flying off of them. I think I know what causes it as well. I think I finally figured out what causes the seat of the tripod to go off to the side like that. I noticed that it was fine until the beavers took down a tree stand that I had next to it. When the beavers took down that tree stand, it made my tripod seat look all weird. I don't know if there's any correlation to that, but like it really seemed. It really seemed like uh, there was some correlation there. Do I have videos explaining the 10 spots? Not really, because your 10 spots are going to be completely different based on your grind. You essentially just want to put your tents at your most uh, efficient zones. And like, if you're gr if you're managing down the rest of the map still, you want to have tents in areas where you can access a bunch of those zones quickly. Or you can do an alternative method where you just place tents at a specific zone 
and then you manage that zone down. You move all the tents to a new zone, manage that down, move the tents to a new zone, manage that down, etc., etc., etc. That's the thing about it. Like, tent placement is almost 100% going to be unique to you. There's not really going to be any overlap from one person's grind to. Oh! Yo! That's a beauty! Look at him! That is a gorgeous seven! That is a gorgeous Pieball 7! That dude's looking good! He's looking incredible! That's a nice rack! It's uneven, but it looks really nice! Oh my gosh! Let's freaking go! Like, yeah, it's uneven, but it actually kind of matches! That's a good looking red deer! We've been getting really good rare luck this grind, like... We haven't got a great one yet after almost 1,300 kills, but we've had some really solid rares. That is beautiful, man. That is absolutely beautiful. How do you get so many rares? I don't, Joe. I just kill a lot of deer per day. I'm at 1,272 kills in under four days. I think I've spent over 40... Close to 40 hours in the last four days playing this game, grinding the red deer. Let's see if we can get a shot on this guy. Oh, we didn't get vitals. Wait, how? That looked fine. How did that not get vitals? That looked fine to me! What happened? We can save this. Ah! We saved it! Yes! Oh my gosh, we saved it! We saved it! Holy crap. No freaking way, man. There's no way we saved that like that. There's no way we saved that like that. And we killed that guy too. Get freaking wrecked. I can't believe we saved that. Well, herd management doesn't get you more rares, Joe. Um, herd management gets you more diamonds and potentially more great ones, but it doesn't get you more rares. Rares are 100% random, and on average, it seems like you get a rare every 300-ish kills. Um, but at the end of the day, there's still a lot of RNG involved. You could get a bunch of rares quickly, or it could take ages. I've gone 1,500 plus kills without a rare before. And then I've also had times where I got like three rares within a hundred kills. But on average, it's usually like a rare every 300 or so. But yeah, the biggest thing is just kill a lot of animals. Kill a lot of animals. The more you're killing, the more chances a respawn will come back as a rare. Um, let's see. How long has it been? It's been about 350 kills since I got that Mela from today's video. So yeah, it's been about 300 kills since the last rare. And then this beauty just popped up. 189.99. That is a gorgeous looking stag. Look at that rack. It's uneven, but it looks good. We love to see it. You know what I've noticed though? I haven't got a single albino this grind. I've had three piebalds and two mellas, but no albino at all. Crazy, man. Love to see it. Nate, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Shot my first super rare red deer because of your methods. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congratulations. Congrats, man. Welcome to the channel, Bentley. Welcome to the channel, man. Can I still get a great one if spawning diamonds? What do you mean by that? Like, are you saying, like, can I still get a great one if there's diamonds spawning? Yes, like, great great ones can spawn at any time. You never really can predict or know when they're going to spawn. As long as you are shooting... As long as you're shooting animals that can spawn a great one, you got a chance of getting it. Please stop spamming, Cloud. You don't need to say it three times within five messages. That That's so excessive. Look at that beauty. 
Nice little level seven. That's crazy, plane. That is crazy. Two diamonds and two rares and 41 kills is nuts. That is absolutely insane. Would love a UK map or something like that. Sadly, would lack a lot of big game. I mean, I feel like EW could make any type of map at least fun. As long as they could add, like, new animals, I do think they could make any type of map work. Provided they could get new species, you know. There we go. Gotta check this zone every couple runs. Because there is some really... Really weird respawns at times where they just show up at zones where I wasn't hunting them. That is one thing that I don't like about the Red Deer grind here. And to be honest, this happens with any Red Deer grind. And it happens with Fallow as well. Like... Let's say you've got like 12 males you're shooting between like five herds, right? Or like, let, let's say like seven herds. You'll probably have at least one male in every herd each run, but then like a couple of the respawns will just bounce between all the herds that you're grinding. Like there's a few that just bounce between all of them. So there's a couple zones where I have to check them. I can't remove them from the grind because I get those stragglers just bouncing to them every once in a while what do i think my re reaction will be for this great one to be honest i have no clue hunter 11 i've never gone for a red deer on emerald coast i mean i think i'm gonna be excited because it's gonna be an accomplishment for me i've never got a great one on emerald and it's been a long time since we've seen a Red Deer Great one, so I think it'll be pretty wild. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. Really appreciate it, man. Oh no, cowboy, that sucks, man. Oh, you have to have the Lightning Hands uh, perk, Benjamin. Lightning Hands level 3 will get you different reload animations. Because uh, it's essentially like a quick reloading perk. And so to make it faster, they have to change the animation. Or else it would look weird. What moose do you shoot and not shoot? Uh, shoot threes and above, leave the twos and ones. Yes, cowboy, I am. Great one every map possible series? I don't know, because that would mean I would be forced to grind Mississippi, and I would be forced to grind Hirschfeld for a great one. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't want to do that. I would not submit myself to that much torture. Trying to get a Mississippi or a Hirsch great one would suck so much. It would suck so much. I mean... I, I was talking to I by probably like seven or eight months ago at this point, maybe even longer, about his Mississippi grinds. And he says it was like the worst grinds he's ever had to do. And if I buy is saying that it's a terrible grind, you know it's a bad grind. So yeah, I would not do a series where I have to get a great one off of every map that has one. Like, I enjoy my great one grinds. I don't want to do a grind where I hate every minute of it. That would just not be fun for me because like i don't want to hate a grind i like uh i like the grinds i enjoy them like even the black bear grind on silver e silver ridge i do enjoy it it's just frustrating we've had bad luck with it but i do enjoy the grind it's fun when the bears are actually behaving Snakehead, thank you for the super chat. What if the great one's European Bison? If they made a Euro Bison great one, I would grind Hirsch because Euro Bison are actually pretty good. They've got good zones. They're a really cool species. And I mean, it would be a new great one. So no matter where it is, I would grind for it. At least for a little bit. 
But yeah, I wouldn't mind Euro Bison Great One. I think that'd be cool. In fact, I kind of hope that would be the next one. Silver re peaks. Something like that, TTK. Silver Reach. SRP is a great map. Grind Whitetail or Angle Dangle? I say Grind Whitetail, Dynamic, because you've been playing a lot of Angler recently. I, I got a feeling that if you go hunt some Whitetail, you're going to get something cool. I, I got a feeling. Almost any time that I take a break from something and I come back, I get something good. I mean, look at this. We came back to the Hunter Call of the Wild after doing a crap load of Angler. And I got literally my dream melanistic red deer. What is my favorite map? This one right here. Good old Emerald Coast. It's such a pretty map. It's got a lot of good animals. Just a really awesome map overall. Another big boy mythical. Love to see it. It's also so satisfying to drop these red deer with the 338. Like that is just so satisfying to see a red deer drop on the spot. <laughs> I love it. Whoa! What the? Wait, where did you come from, bro? Yeah, we've still got our threes there. Where did that dude come from? I've never seen that happen before. That was a third male from one herd. Because I have a solo there, and then I had a three that was in the herd, and then we just had two others in the herd. I don't think I've ever seen three males that were part of a herd and not like a solo joining a herd. Because we haven't shot any solos today, so that has to be one of the herd males. That's actually crazy. Nay, thank you so much for the super chat once again, man. I'm lucky you got 70 diamonds plus a super rare 700 kills. That's pretty nuts, man. That is pretty nuts. Congrats on all that, dude. Hey, Clay Drew, how's it going? How's it going, man? Did the six just drop? It did indeed, yes. Uh, no clue, Blake. No clue, dude. Not gonna lie, I haven't really looked into, like, uh, KFC-related things. How do I track how many kills I have? I use an app on my phone called Smart Counter. Four, four, five, four. Oh no, we got a new four. We got a new four. I can totally leave it. This is one of the zones I don't mind abandoning. Because uh, I've got a couple zones that I haven't managed down on the map. Uh, for example, I got one here that I could totally, like, introduce to the grind. I've got one over here that has a 5 in it that I could introduce. I could leave this. I'm going to leave it for now. We might add it back in later, but I'm going to leave it for now. I'm doing good, Hunter7862. I'm doing good. I hope you are as well. Nice, Blake. Nice. Hey, Noah. Welcome back, man. Welcome back, my dude. Nothing smokable there. Oh no, Coop. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Ah, uh, how about some more Call of the Wild, uh, Parker? How about some Call of the Wild? Got one male. Get this other herd in here.
Nice. We're on a little bit of a dry streak. It's been a bit since we ended up getting a diamond. <laughs> they were all piled on top of each other. That's so convenient. I love it. Potentially, Joe. I would say... I'd say there's a pretty good chance they'll bring them back every year for those events. I feel like that would be a smart thing for them to do as a company. No mail there. How many kills did it take for my first Red Deer Great One? It was 3,000 for my first one. It was also 3,000 for my second one. 6,000 for my third. 6,700 for my fourth. Yeah, pretty much dynamic. Yeah, for sure. That's kind of what happened to me. I played Angler so much the last few weeks that... I just want to play Call of the Wild at the moment. It's like I've got a cool diamond in the angler that I could make a video about, but I'm just sucked into the Red Deer grind right now. That face plant was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> Holy crap, that was so good. Poor dude just hit the dirt. She doesn't have the time to, Ryder. Like, she's, when I'm doing my uh, work here on the channel, like, she's taking care of our daughter. It'd be fun if uh, if my wife could help us grind, but like, she's taking care of our daughter Aaliyah the whole time that I'm doing these streams and videos and stuff. And taking care of a kid's basically a full time job. There we go. One there. Finally. I mean, I'm not going to go claim that, though. That thing's way far away. Nice, Ender. That's awesome, dude. Glad that you're uh, enjoying the game, man. Oh, that's rough, Billy. That's rough, man. I mean, all you really got to do to completely restart your PlayStation is just, like, hold the power button in, I believe. Or I believe there's a... I believe you can, like, go to a menu and exit it through that as well. And if all else fails, Google's there for you. Just search it up in Google and it should tell you exactly what to do. Uh, she plays Call of the Wild, but not super often, uh, Preston. She likes Way of the Hunter more than Call of the Wild, for the most part. Hey, we got a nine. Let's freaking go. What level do you get res less recoil? You don't get less recoil by leveling up. You have to get the recoil management perks in the shotgun category. They will apply to all weapons when you get them. I also use my mouse to compensate for recoil as well. Yeah, I think we got them both down. Hello, Mr. Seven. Please. 
be a diamond. Actually, it's a guaranteed diamond. It was like 256 lower estimate, so it's a guaranteed diamond, but hopefully we didn't mess the shot up. Actually, can't tell. I don't see any blood because it's in the water. Who 66 max weight, dude? Another freaking max weight. That is insanity. That is actually crazy. <laughs> Another max weight, man. None of them have been 270 yet, though. 270 is like what we're shooting for with these diamonds. Where did the other one go? I have no clue, so I'm not going to waste time looking. Got a big rack moose. Nice, nice. Nice, Parker. Nice. Yeah, the, um, what are they called? The Rockies are fun, dude. They're fun. Am I only taxing 270 plus? Yes, because we've killed. So on our Tiabaro Red Deer grind, we had 20,000 kills on that grind. And we were getting a diamond every like 10 to 15 kills on the Tiabaro grind. We were so heavily herd managed that we got 848 Red Deer diamonds out of 20,000 kills on uh, Tiabaroa. So yeah, I don't really tax a diamond red deer unless it's like very special looking. If it's a very unique one or if it's a 270 plus, I will tax it, but I don't tax anything unless it's like 270 plus or like super wonky or big for its rack size or for its rack shape, I should say. I think there's one more herd here. Yeah, we just had them so heavily herd managed when we were on Tiabaroa that we were getting diamonds so often. What legendary is in rotation for Angler? It would be Goldstein and Cal Paul the Dominator. How long have I been herd managing for this great one? Like four days now, and I've spent 10 hours or so every single day. On some days, even more than 10 hours. Um, I think yesterday I spent about 10 hours playing. The day before, I spent like 14 hours playing. Uh, the day before that, I think I spent eight hours, and the day before that was like six hours. So close to 40 hours across the last four days. There we go. Let's see, when did I start the grind? Let me see. When did I post that first video? I posted the first Red Deer Grinding video three days ago, which means I started recording it the day before. So yeah, I've been grinding for about four days. First day was like six hours. Second was like eight. Third was like 14. Yesterday was like close to 10. So yeah, about 38 hours in four days. Kill count, 1,300. We're currently at 1,300 kills. I would be farther in it, but we wasted like 10 hours chasing solos. I mean, I wouldn't say wasted because we were managing them down and we got a good amount of them managed down. But it definitely felt like a waste of time when I was killing like 10 red deer an hour chasing solos. 15 was like, if I could kill 15 or 20 solos in an hour, I was really, really happy. Because they just move so freaking much. They're so annoying to chase. Makes me happy that I'm past that part of the grind. 
Holy Garrett with the uh, gifted membership. Congrats to Dynamic Duo getting gifted that gifted. Be sure to say thank you. And uh, thank you once again, Garrett. That's very generous of you, man. Really appreciate it. Yes, Chris, those are 100% accurate or as close to being accurate as they can be. I'm sure I've missed clicking it a few times, but yeah, for the most part, that's accurate. We do a lot of herd management, so we got a lot more diamonds than you would normally get. Yay! <laughs> Dynamic back in green, man. Oh, I see how it is. You're hiding. You're hiding because you're afraid that I'm going to shoot you. I mean, you would be right, but there's no need to hide behind the ladies. That's just rude, man. That's poor manners. Oh, he's still doing it. Wait. No, I butt shot her. We killed him, though. I might be able to go claim him before she dies. I might be able to claim him before she dies. Quick, 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 quick! Run! Fifty to seventy-five. We're fine. Boom. There we go. She didn't die. We're good. We're good! However, I think we're going to go ahead and end it there because I have to join Caitlyn for part of her stream later tonight. Uh, we're going to be doing Prehistoric Hunt. I'll probably end up streaming it on the channel as well. So stay tuned for a potential Prehistoric Hunt stream later today. But uh, I appreciate you all coming out here and watching. This has been a fun stream. We got a beautiful pie vault as well as a decent bit of diamonds today. So can't complain, man. It's been a solid day. But uh, until the next one. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.